Welcome, welcome. Thank you, family and friends, for joining me and Maria Loves to Talk. I'm doing perfume. I'm doing fragrances. I have a great selection. Yes, you guys. <laughs> I'm late to the party. This is still some leftover from Valentine's Day and talking about Valentine's Day. I hope you guys and gals have a beautiful, hot, sexy, fun Valentine's Day. Just a hot and sexy, just a nice, sweet Valentine's Day. I have a great selection for you. Nope, no men fragrances, just women fragrances, women scents, but maybe, hey, maybe, I don't know, maybe some dudes might be able to wear. So without further ado, because I have a lot to cover, you guys, I have 17, or is it 21 fragrances? So yeah, get you some snacks. Come on back and let's get into this awesome video. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. Some of these fragrances I have not tried out. And yes, you guys and gals, I share with you, do not be afraid to get your little sample or to order your samples, the little trial valves, little trial size from, I don't know, Sensplit, Fragrance Net, Lucky Scent. So this, all these, some of them I did in my previous video, came from Fragrance Net. Yes, you guys, and of course, some of them came from Lucky Scent. <laughs> and what I do not get from Fragrance Net, Lucky Scent, a perfume court, I get from TJ Maxx. I get from Burlington Rocks. You know what, I think I share with you guys I have not been able to get fragrances lately from TJ Maxx or from Marshalls. I haven't. And then what? when all else fails, or let's just say you're broke, you can't afford it, you're tired, you're burnt out, you guys, some Dove, some Yorley, some Lever, some Iris Spring. What, what, what's the other one? I'm leaving Palmolive. Or just plain old Dove deodorant or a secret, secret deodorant. That's right. And you can take this soap, shave it, like with your cheese shredder, put it in a little, I don't know, one of these or something. Put it in your, I don't know, tennis shoes, socks, in your wig, in your girdle, <laughs> in your bra, <laughs> in your tote bag. You guys, you know, I'll just be having fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and get with it and let me stop playing. So this one is, I know, I know, you know about My Way, but this is My Way Floral. I don't know how many My Way Giorgio Armani have. And I wasn't going to get this one, but I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I got it in a sample size before, again, before you invest in a big bottle. Because these fragrances, these perfumes are expensive. They will break the bank. This is, I mean, this is a gorgeous, that's the only other word I can say, gorgeous fragrance. My way, floral, Giorgio Armani. You know what? I have a lot of Giorgio Armani. I already shared with you. I'm trying to get um, the ones he made, or Beyonce had, uh, was his, the uh, cover girl for the Ar Armani Diamonds. This is a 10, uh, ten and a half. Ten, ten and a half. This is special occasions. This is date night with Big Papa. This is special events. This is um, Met Gala. Um, I don't know. You know, Met Gala, M-E-T Gala in New York City, where you be with the big shots. This is I won the lotto. This is I'm a socialite. <laughs> it, it's a ten and a half. Moving on. Remember I showed you we went to Macy's. And the lady at the uh, counter, the Gucci counter, gave me, well, I got two samples. This is Tiffany Rose Gold, and I forgot the other one was either Chloe or Chloe. And then she gave my niece Gucci Guilty Elixir. I, I share with you, that is a 10 and a half. And she gave her another fragrance. I should have told her to give me that Gucci Guilty Elixir for myself, but yeah. And she put them, we each got 
two fragrances in a cute this cute little uh, pouch and there was four uh, four fragrance total so basically each one of these fragrances, you guys I share with you they're the perfume gales on at these counters at Macy's dealers and even Marcus I'm pretty sure they do that at Nordstrom fifth uh Sex Fifth Avenue they're selling these ten dollars fifteen dollars twenty three dollars depending on what the fragrance I know the Chanel is like 23 times four like 23 or something on eBay they're not giving they're not giving us the little consumers they're not giving us the fragrance only a very few of those ladies so let's let me stop a yap and let's see what this smells like This one smells good, but you guys, that Giorgio Armani got me. Tiffany, yeah, and I heard some good things about Tiffany. I forgot the one someone was saying was really good. Maybe it's the original one. I would give this Tiffany Rose Gold. To me, this is more like a daytime fragrance. Uh, maybe, you know, going to church, uh, a convention. Uh, no, it's not to me. It wouldn't be date night, big night with pop or going to some, you know, exclusive restaurant or hotel uh this is a, a four four minus maybe but it's still good let me put it over here moving on to my next one. i know y'all gonna be like oh, shoot. like what is this marie this is my own made up sample that's right my own made up sample you guys i share with you i had got a few of these uh ordered these little empty vials from Amazon uh, right I think last summer or spring about this time and I still have a few of the little empty bottles from Sephora that I would get so I said you know what when we go to Macy's I'm going to try out my little valve and I was able to get a little bit of Tiger Lily flower bomb not the flower bomb Victor Roth Tiger Lily new flower bomb. Flower bomb's new one. Tiger Lily. And the lady caught me. <laughs> it's so funny. And my niece was like, you are embarrassing me, Amy. You are embarrassing me. And I'm like, I don't care. I got my sample, you guys. And I've been spraying. Woo! Time. My way. Tiger Lily. <laughs> This is a 10 also, or maybe a five and a half. It's a five. It's a five. I was spraying you guys. I was just spraying it all on my wig. Took some, was spraying. <laughs> I was spraying. I had on a little, what I had on a sports jacket. Not a sports jacket. I had on a jacket. Spraying my jacket down. My jacket is still smelling good. <laughs> okay, moving on to my next one. Burberry Goddess, Burberry Goddess. I have a lot of Burberry also. Okay, so let's see what this one smells like. Okay. This one is good. Um, what would I give it? I would give it a, if not a four, a four and a half. But no, it's not a five. Don't get mad at me, Burberry. It's not a five, you guys. It's a four. It's a four. Uh, maybe a three and a half. I'm going to go ahead and stick with four. This to me, they're saying goddess, but it's not giving me goddess vibes. Okay. I'll leave it at that, you guys. Moving on. My next one, uh, this is Judith Lieber. I'm not really familiar with her fragrances. So when I saw it, I said, I'm just going to order the, the rest of them in this collection. So I've got Judith Lieber Exotic Coral. I've got Judith Lieber Amethyst, Judith Lee, Lieber Emerald, and Judith Lieber Ruby. Yeah, I know I went crazy. But hey, I'd rather go crazy getting these little sample valves than buy a big bottle and find out out of this, there's only one of I like, okay? And again, remember, you can't return these. Okay, so exotic coral, it says here, this is an oriental floral fruity. And you know, I share with you, I love sweet stuff and I love fruit. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it's sweet. I'm, I'm liking this one. 
Would it be date night? It could be. I would say this is daytime. It's office. You're going out with your friends. You're meeting some people for lunch. Uh, convention. It's not going to hurt or um, get somebody hyperventilating or choking at work. If you're in a close working area, like in a call center or something. The next next one is uh, Judith Lieber Emerald. That's such a pretty bottle. Okay, so this one here is Woody Floral Leather Fruity. Okay, let's see what that, let's see. And this is my first time smelling it. Okay, this one, this one's smelling a little sweet, but it's still good. What would I rate this one? Did I rate the other one? Let me spray it again. liking this one maybe even better than I like the coral. I would give this one a four. They both are four, but I'm going to lean this one. It's leaning four and a half. This is our emerald. And the other one was a coral. So they're both four. But the green one, maybe because I like, I love the color green. And green reminds me of money. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to give it a four and a half. Okay, the next one, amethyst. And this is my burst style, so I really should really love amethyst okay so let's see what this amethyst smells like okay so amethyst he's supposed to be i say he maybe it's a she she's supposed to be so this is the new fragrant jewels of the night a magnificent warm floral perfume splendorous clever clean top notes of boysenberry bergamot and lychee wink at the fresh floral heart of magnolia I'm liking this one. It's it's hard. I'm already it's kind of like hard to. I hate to say, you guys, this one is good. Don't get me, okay? But I'm leaning towards the emerald. But this has a rich smell. But I'm gonna lean towards the emerald. So this one, I'm gonna give this a, a three and a half. I really because I mean it is. Uh, my uh, amethyst is my birthstone, but it's not it's not touching me in that way. So I'm I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Judith Lieber Ruby. What more should we say? What more can we say? Ruby. Okay, rubies are just like diamonds. They are a girl's best friend. Well, that's if you like red. So let's see. Ruby. This is a daytime fragrance. It's not gonna get you into date night with Big Papa, Lovers Lane and all that, but I don't know, maybe it might. But for me, I'm, this is more of a daytime. I would give this a four minus, maybe a three and a half. I'm not being moved in the direction. Uh, is it worthy for a big bottle? Not for my likes. I'm gonna stick to my the first and the second one that I like, which was the coral and the, the emerald, okay. This came from Lucky Scent. I <laughs> know oh, I'm not the little spokesperson. BDK Perfumes, and this is called Pass Secor. Pass Secor, okay. And the ones that I just picked up from Lucky Scent, I try to get the ones that were like new, that newly came in that arrived, so let's see. Yeah, I'm liking this one. Is it a date night? It could be just a nice little date with your honey, with your husband. Uh, not something super fancy. Y'all just going out to maybe to like a um, nice Mexican restaurant. Chop. This is also BDK. And I suggest getting their discovery kit. Okay, so this is Rouge Smoking Rouge. I'm not getting some people out. Yes, I read everything. I read the comments. I read uh, some people were saying it smelled like detergent, but I'm not getting a detergent smell. Is it something to write about? Is it something to run, run home and write about? For my taking, no, because when I hear that word rouge smoking or smoking rouge, I'm looking for some heaviness. I'm looking for some smokiness. I'm looking for some oomph, some power. 
And I'm not, I'm getting it. BD, BDK, y'all don't get mad at me. I'm just keeping it real. Uh, and that's the beauty. In a way, when you're not sponsored, you're not being paid, you're not on the payroll. <laughs> you know, you. I bought this myself. Okay, the next one is Byron Parfum. Mula Mula. I'm liking this one. Definitely something you can wear still to the office will not offend someone and will take you into date night. This is a four and a half, okay? Mula Mula Extreme Red. Strawberry, cherry, all that juicy stuff. Yes, this is date night. This you can still wear this to the office. This will take you from office into date night into romance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has va voom va voom. So what would I give it? I would say a five. Yeah, it's a five. Would I give it a five and a half? No, I'm not gonna give it a five and a half. Moving on, you guys. Okay, the next one is Jerome Studio. Rose Highland, Rose Highland, and okay, this one is leaning more uh, green. It's not, I shouldn't say it's not a good rose, but it's not the rose, my type of rose that I like. When I'm smelling rose, I want to smell rose. This is more green. I don't know if I'm getting the leaves or the thorns or what, but it's not the rose that I'm, you know, as I share with you, my mom, we kept like 15 to 20 roses just in the front yard as you walk up to the porch. We have roses throughout the house. So I know rose. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not to my liking. So uh, moving on to my next, and this is Joram uh, Healing. Healing Berry. We need not say any more. Healing Berry. I'm smell I'm smelling the berry and no it doesn't smell like now laters or starburst. <laughs> it's kind of tart, but it's it's still good. I'm liking this one. I'm gonna give this one a four. And this is office daytime, uh business meeting. You can be in the hospital, working in the hospital, working in the law firm, working with students and whatnot. It's not gonna irritate or Get someone choking and all that. Okay, so moving on to, oh, what would I rate? I already told y'all, a four. Okay, so moving on. Escada. I have so many Escada. <laughs> I never can get enough. Santorini Sunrise Escada. Okay, I picked this one up. 19, no, $16.99. $16.99. It's supposed to be $40. I picked this one up at Burlington. Wow. I did. That was good. I really uh, pulled a saving. And look at this beautiful bottle, beautiful blue. Smells good. This is definitely a yes. This is a five. Wow, this is, it's definitely a yes, you guys. Perfect for summertime, vacation, those trips, trips going to, um, I don't know, Florida, to the beach, going on a cruise, Disneyland, Disney World, going to Mexico on a trip, going to the islands, Greek islands, uh, out in the Caribbean, it is a five. Moving on, you go. And this is in a beautiful red. Like a rouge type of bottle. Deep, oh, deep red, I'm sorry. Yes, and it is sexy. What do I give it? I would say it's a, a four and a half. Not super sexy, but hey, you can still get away with date night as well as work. So you can wear this to work. Shouldn't offend anyone. Shouldn't have anyone following you and bothering you at work because they so hypnotized. 
<laughs> with the fragrance. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, the next one are Extraordinary Oscar de la Renta. I used to love Oscar de la Renta. I still love his fragrances, but I don't really, I haven't really been buying them or maybe I just don't see them anymore. I used to see Oscar de la Renta fragrances all the time. And um, Marshalls, let me know y'all, if y'all have, have you seen the same thing I'm seeing or the same thing I'm not seeing. And then at a, a while back, I saw a bunch of his fragrances, that new one with the pretty little like tulip looking top. I saw them at um, Burlington, but no, I haven't seen an Oscar de la Renta fragrance in a long time. Okay, so let's spray this. And it's called Patel or Patile. I can't, it's Patel, or Petal, P-E-T, Petele. I know y'all gonna get me, but hey. I don't know why I haven't worn this. This smells beautiful. Ladylike, feminine. This is a good um, Mother's Day gift too. Mother's Day, a uh, mother-in-law, a uh, wedding. Um. Okay, y'all gonna be like, Marie, what are you doing? Yes, bronze goddess. You guys, I love, 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 bronze goddess. And this is by Estee Lauder. Me and my sister was fighting over. I caught her trying to hijack me. I want to get, there was another one I just recently saw. I think they're coming out with a new one. This is the perfect vacation, summertime fragrance. Cruise, Italy, Greek islands. Cancun, um, Caribbean Islands, just being out and about with your honey, with your little tank top or your little two top or whatever you wear, or a nice, beautiful sundress and some flip flops. This is a 10, period. 10! <laughs> 10. Get seductive, guest noir. Guest noir, seductive. And this, this one came from Ross, $14.99. And the uh, Bronze Goddess, this was Macy's. Okay, so let's see. It is seductive. Five and a half. Woo. And it's a yes, yes, yes. You maybe could wear this to work, but just like that name say, seductive, I will leave this for special occasions of just going out on a hot date, a new date, a fresh date, an old date. You and Big Papa got something special planned. I don't think I would wear this to work, or maybe you could wear it to work and just spray something else with it to kind of calm it down. You don't want to get somebody crushing on you. <laughs> In the wrong kind of way. Oh my god. Okay, this is Lolita Limka and this is called Sweet. And TJ Maxx $39.99. That's almost, I don't know, like an apple, maybe a strawberry or something. And need we say more? It says sweet for a reason. I was saying sweet, 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 but I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong with my nose. I don't find it to be super sweet. Is it sweet? Yeah, but it's not super sweet. It's a yes, you guys. I wouldn't give this a 10 rating. I would, I would put it like right at for me, five minus. It's a five minus. I know y'all thinking, well, why is it not a five and a half? Why is it not a 10? I don't know. It's just not for me. It's a, it's a five minus. Okay, my Lolita Lipka. Another nice, cute little bottle. This 
one had high ratings. It is sweet, not super sweet like this one's sweet. It's kind of light powdery, but it's not Johnson baby powder powdery. I would give this one also, uh, I would give this one a four and a half. So this one's sweet is five, five minus, and this one for me will be a four uh, or maybe a four minus, but I'm not gonna give it a four and a half, and I'm not gonna give this one a five and a half. My favorites overall for me, uh, Oscar De La Renta, Extraordinaire, Seductive, Bronze Goddess, Estada Santorini. Oh, wait a minute, you guys. I got my Hollywood. Hollywood Royale, Juicy Couture. Boy, you know, I got a lot of Juicy Couture. My other top rated, of course, remember, it was Tiger Lily Flower Bomb. You know, I love me some Flower Bomb. And Armani My Way Floral. Okay, so let's see. Of course, beautiful bottle. You cannot lose giving Juicy Couture as a uh, gift. Uh, these are nice gifts because we've got Easter coming up. Your little uh, teens, pre-teens, co-eds, little Easter baskets are little cute little bags. I saw some cute little gift bags at Burlington the other day. Somebody else had some cute ones. I don't know what's a TJ Maxx. And then we got Easter and Mother's Day coming up. All of these wonderful, lovely gifts. Okay, so let me stop the yapping because this is the last one. This is a yes. If, if not just for this bottle, what would I give it to me? Uh, even though I said Hollywood Royale or Hollywood Royal, I'm not getting the... Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of when I think of Hollywood, some of the top stars that I'm, I'm thinking of. Gabriel Union, uh, Vivica Fox, uh, Taraji P. Henson, Angela Bassett. It's not giving me the um, Jennifer Aniston vibes. It's not giving me the Anjali Jolie vibes. I'm not getting the Live Blakely <laughs> This it's not Matt Gala vibes. Even though the bottle looks Matt Gala and it's saying Hollywood Royale, I'm going to give you guys a four, four minus. <laughs> I know y'all going to get me. Let me know if y'all have any of these fragrances. Um, have you bought it? Leave me a comment. What do you think? You guys, I want to thank you for watching my video. I want you to stay healthy, happy, and blessed. Thank you.